You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. Well, we're going to talk about a male power lifter who has gone out in Canada and now smashed some more women's records up in Canada. And uh, this is the same power lifter that came out a few months ago and mocked women. Now, keep in mind, we're talking about a biological male competing against other women, but feels good enough and is proud enough of himself that he went out there and mocked women because women weren't as strong as men on bench press. I mean, isn't that just a given? But then again, you're willing to saunter up there and actually act like you're accomplishing something. By the way, guys, I lifted for years. You guys know I still lift now. I don't power lift anymore. Uh, there was a time I had a 605-pound deadlift, okay? This guy does not have that. Not only that, but me and John was talking. There's got to be 50 guys in the town I live in stronger than this one male at powerlifting. I shit you not. He is not impressive as a male at all, and it is very obvious he has decided and he has had to go out there and compete against females because as a man... You're simply not man enough, it looks like, against other men. And, guys, there is vi- there's all kinds of video, okay? Let's, let's just, in fact, let's, so you know what we're dealing with here, let's just take a stroll back down memory lane to when this guy uh, came out and made these comments against women. I'm trying to find the, uh, the video that this guy put up. Right here, Riley Gaines had shared it. Ann Andrus, male who identifies and competes as a woman, doesn't understand why female powerlifters are so bad at bench press. Of course, Riley Gaines snapped him, and I don't blame her. Well, I don't know, Ann, or whatever your real name is, but maybe it's because you have 20 times more testosterone than them. Just a thought. But keep in mind, this person believes that there should be enough pride in what he's doing that he should go out and actually insult women and attack women because they're not as strong as him. I I am baffled that any male could look at themselves in the mirror, okay, in the mirror and actually do this and feel like they're accomplishing something. Um, Why is women's bench so bad? I mean, not compared to me. We all know that I'm a tranny freak, so that doesn't count. I know we're not talking about Mackenzie Lee. She's got little T-Rex arms, and she's like 400 pounds of chest muscle, apparently. I mean, standard bench in powerlifting competition for women. I literally don't understand why it's so bad. Uh, it's, It's baffling that any biological male would go out there and insult women on this level. It's it's amazing. But here we are again. Okay, here we are with this same power lifter. Oh, this is Breitbart. A male power lifter sets women's national record in Canada. Held at the Brandon University Healthy Living Center, the Canadian Powerlifting Unions, that, that Canadian Powerlifting Union must be a complete joke. The 2023 Western Canadian Championship served host to 40-year-old Ann Andrus, a transgender athlete who already holds multiple records in the female division, including women's deadlift and bench press, has placed first in 9 out of 11 competitions he has participated in over the last four years, according to Redux. Andrews com- competed in the female's master's unequipped category at the competition on Sunday and took in first place. Andrews Total powerlifting score was over 200 pounds more than the top performing female in the same class. 597.5 pounds versus Sue Jean Gills, 387.5 pounds. A total is the sum of the heaviest weight lifted for squat, bench, and deadlift. This is the person coming up here, right here. Uh, I guess to do, uh, I would assume, a deadlift. So let's just take a look. 
right here. I mean, that, guys, I'm going to tell you, as a, as a dude, that's not impressive. As a, as a male power lifter, that wouldn't, that's not impressing any guys. This guy obviously has to compete against women in order to, to feel like he's actually competitive in doing something. Trans-identified male set a Canadian women's powerlifting record at a championship in Manitoba yesterday. Previously mocked female powerlifters lifted a total of 210 pounds, more than the strongest female. Andrea's total would have placed him amongst the top performing male powerlifters in the entire championship had he participated in the men's category. Are we sure about that? Because that doesn't sound right. I, I've went and looked at this guy's actual poundage totals, and I... I'm baffled. If that if that statement is accurate, I'm baffled then. Andre has not only set the Canadian women's national record, but also possibly set an unofficial women's world powerlifting record. The Canadian Powerlifting Union, CPU, the parent organization for the Western Canadian Championships, previously made a wholly radical rule allowing males to compete in women's sports strictly off of Gender identity. Okay. Gender identity. So let me get this straight. John Enzer can just, well, he, John Enzer's already got long hair, or at least he used to when he competed. So John Enzer could just walk in with long hair and compete against the women because he's saying that today he identifies as a woman. What a joke. What a joke. And if you guys don't know, like this person's wearing an Enzer bodysuit, it's what powerlifters wear. He's a guy that lives right here in the town where I lifted. I've deadlifted with John Enzer before. Um, that's baffling. Okay, that is, that is crazy. The Canadian Center for Ethics in Sport, CCES, said that the CPU's trans inclusion policy meant that males could participate in women's sports without even undergoing hormone treatment. They are out of their minds. They're so woke in Canada right now. That is nuts. Based on this background and available evidence, the expert working group felt that trans athletes should be able to participate in the gender which they identify regardless of whether or not they have undergone hormone therapy. Linda Blade, founder of the International Consortium of Female Sport, told Redux that the CPU championed unfairness by including Andrus. Since we became of Ann, aware of Ann Andrus' unethical participation in CPU female powerlifting in January of 2023, we have written letters, helped affected athletes obtain legal representation, and worked very hard to convince the CPU to align with its own international federation to ensure fairness for Canadian women. Andre has celebrated the win and shared a video from the competition on inst her Instagram account, his Instagram account. Sorry. Pardon my French, I said her. I was wrong. Today I did some lifting. Not just lifting, I got to lift with some friends across Canada. Friends who welcome me and love me and want me to be there. Friends who support trying to be the best. Well, I got to be honest, they're part of the problem. The fact that any women, and I'm, I'm going to be real here. Listen, ladies, you got to start walking off stages. You gotta, you gotta just boycott the entire competition. I mean, y'all are smiling right now. That is, that is baffling to me. I mean, that's that's a mockery of female sports right there. And, and look, Ann got drug in all this. Transgender weightlifter breaks women's record in Canada. I mean, it's just. Yeah, parody and reality have become indistinguishable. That's Randy Macho Man Savage. That's a, a strong woman in an episode of South Park. Let's just look at it. Right there. I'm going to smoke them. I am the strongest woman the state has ever seen. Look at the beard. 
I mean, look at the beard and the long hair. I mean, it's hilarious. We are literally living in a South. Piers Morgan, preposterous. Uh, it just goes on and on. This person got absolutely destroyed. It is baffling to me that this is where we are in society, that this person can go out there. Again, in totals, that when I went and looked from the video I made, because I made a video about, about him uh, talking shit about female bench pressing, I made that video, put it over on the 2 channel, and I went and looked at the actual poundages for this person. I don't know unless they've greatly improved or if this person has went if this person has went on testosterone to improve the poundages. But I went over and looked at totals and I was like, wow, the gym that I worked out in, and look, I haven't power lifted or even attempted any power lifting since before probably 2008. But in that one gym. I bet you they were eight to ten power lifters, men that were stronger than that, including guys that wore, you know, we're talking guys, some of them weighing 180 pounds, that had better totals without wearing any suits, anything like that, just raw, right? Uh, so I'm not impressed at all. And it's baffling to me that this continues to happen. We know in Canada they are ultra woke up there. It is going to take women walking out of competition to stop this. I mean, you can't stand on stage and clap and, and celebrate this. You're, that is a bonkers, bonkers rule. I mean, not, you don't have to go a, a, a year on testosterone suppression. Nothing. Gender identity. And remember, I, I did a video on the guy that just came out of nowhere, big, massive male. All he did was literally walk in with facial hair, and he said, I identify as a woman today. Sat down and destroyed women's powerlifting records. He did that in protest. Just to show how absurd this is. It's nuts. It's nuts. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Women's sports is becoming a joke. A pathetic joke. It is so not fair to the women that actually do care about a competitive atmosphere. And again, in other sports, we got a safety issue. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.